Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. I am the Twisted Jedi, and today we have something new from Ben Walk on Twitter. Now, obviously the Battlefront 2 community is getting used to having community transmissions as the main form of communication from the devs, but now we're getting something different. Ben has just released the first community calendar for Battlefront 2. Now this is gonna be for the entire month of October, and it's gonna outline a list of events and things that are happening with the game throughout the whole month. So something really cool is happening with it. They're going to do it every single month. It's going to outline what we can expect, different modes, different events, different heroes, what we can expect. And hopefully, and eventually they will get dates on them. So we know exactly what day these events are happening. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through the first community calendar, read through what they've got planned for October. And I'm going to give you guys my thoughts and what I want to see out of the things that it has to say. So remember also, there is going to be one random Star Wars question at the end of the video so make sure to watch that and you can test your Star Wars knowledge there. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump right in make sure you're subscribed with notifications on if you want to be alerted for future videos. Now jumping right in the first thing on the October community calendar says battle point event heroes unleashed. It's heroes vs villains meets galactic assault in the first battle point event of October. During this weekend heroes in galactic assault will be 75% off their normal cost with up to 8 heroes per side available at any given time. So guys, the first big takeaway from this community calendar is they're doing an event where we can go eight on eight heroes in galactic assault, not heroes vs villains, galactic assault. That is going to be absolute chaos and I love it. It's going to be so much fun to just see heroes and villains flying through. There's going to be so many of them running around. You pretty much, if you're infantry, you're screwed. Like you're going to be running around just getting chopped the entire time by lightsaber heroes, especially if you're light side, you better be careful because that's going to be hectic. So that sounds like a lot of fun. I know obviously it's not going to stay around permanently because that would be broken, but you know, it's cool to give us that for a weekend or test something out, you know, see how people like it and maybe bring it back for a couple of days in the future as well. The second thing on the community calendar is for one weekend. They are are removing the spawn timer in Galactic Assault so players can get right back into the action as soon as they're taken out. It'll be a battle of attrition and especially difficult against effective squad spawns. So this is called the Fast Spawn Event, which is the second event for the community calendar. Honestly, the spawn system has improved the game a lot. I've heard really good things about it. Even people that have kind of gone away from the game a little bit or don't play as much as they used to have come back and played the new spawn system and have said they're really, really enjoying it. Now, I know there are going to be tweaks to that later down the line because they are removing the hero spawns. So you're going to be pretty much only able to spawn infantry on infantry. No more popping up as Kylo Ren when you've got an infantry teammate in a battle. Um, so that's kind of cool. I like the idea that they're just taking it back to default spawns for heroes. It got a little bit hectic there a few times for me when I was playing on stream the other day. So I think infantry on infantry spawns is the best way to do it. Now having a fast spawn is even better. You don't have to wait that five or so seconds before you can get back into the action you can literally just click and spawn back in. That's kind of cool. I don't know why they haven't just made it that way permanently. That would be interesting to see how it works, but I'll test it out when it is live and we'll see if it's worth doing full time. And maybe that's some feedback that I can give them. The third thing on the community calendar is the battle point event called reinforcements. Reinforcement troops will be available in galactic assault and extraction for 75% off their normal cost. So guys, this one's pretty simple. We've had this with the vehicles just recently. They're going to do it for all of of the reinforcements now. So Wookiees, aerials, all that kind of stuff, that's gonna be dropped right down. Death troopers are gonna be lower. So 75% off is a lot. That's a big battle point drop. So you can pretty much spawn in, kill a couple of people, and then get a reinforcement like right away. You might even only have to kill one or two. So that's pretty hectic. There's gonna be a lot more reinforcements being played during that weekend. Next up is something really cool, and it is the Halloween event night mode. To go alongside this double XP event, all game modes will feature night only maps. Kashyyyk, Kamino, Naboo, Endor, and Tatooine, Jabba's Palace, and the Death Star from Friday the 26th through to Wednesday the 31st. Now, what's interesting about this, guys, is the map choices that they've done for the night mode. Now, most of them already have night variations, but the two that stood out to me the most was the Death Star and Kamino. Now, the Death Star is kind of a weird one because it's already night. 
Do you know what I mean? Like they're out in space. We don't really know what time of day it is. So that's going to be interesting to see how they do a night mode for that map. And then with Camino, it's always raining. So we don't know if it's day or night. You know, we just know the rain. It'll be interesting to see if they actually darken those maps a little bit, or maybe the inside of the Death Star, the lights could be turned down a bit and make it a little bit spooky for Halloween. That would be pretty cool. It's going to be exciting to see how they do it. And I'm excited to see how the game plays on those maps with the night variations. Anyways, the next Next Halloween event is another one and it's going to be double XP. Star Wars Battlefront 2 is celebrating Halloween with a double XP weekend. This will take place on the 26th through to the 28th. So hopefully guys by this time we will have General Grievous in the game. I don't really know if we will. It also says on the exact same point to the left of that that General Grievous arrives in Star Wars Battlefront 2 this October but there's no official date for him. So I feel like they're going to drop Grievous after the double XP weekend just to mess with us. The devs probably don't want us maxing out Grievous on the first double XP weekend as soon as he drops in the game. But hey, who knows? They might do it. We're not 100% sure yet. We're just going to have to wait and see. The last thing on the list is the Clone Wars era playlist. To give players even more chance to play the newly released General Grievous, we're bringing back the Clone Wars era playlist for Heroes vs. Villains and Hero Showdown, accessible via the front end tile for a limited time. So that's really cool. They're doing Clone Wars era playlists. I kind of hope they did it for GA as well. It doesn't sound like they're going to be doing it. It's just going to be for the hero modes. So you're going to get a lot of chances to test out General Grievous. You just got to make sure when you spawn in that you select him right away because you know that everyone in the community is going to be going ham on him, pretty much just chasing after Grievous and trying to get him. So I'm really excited to use him. His abilities sound awesome. If you haven't heard his abilities just yet, I have multiple videos back on my channel. Just click on one of the thumbnails where Grievous is in the picture. I will also have links down in the description so you guys can check those out if you want to know anything about general grievous and when he's coming to the game what he's going to have in terms of abilities hopefully we get a release date for him soon i'm really expecting like right at the end of the month probably either just on or just after the double xp weekend which of course i did mention was the 26th to the 28th no word yet but i will keep you guys as updated as possible i know this video was a little bit delayed we did get the community calendar over 24 hours ago but i do work full time now so it is a little bit harder for me to get the videos out as soon as news drops this one dropped at about 4 a.m in the morning for me so i tried to get it out but i was just i needed to sleep before work so now is the only chance i got to get it out i hope you guys don't mind and you still enjoyed the video so i'm gonna wrap it up in just a second i'm gonna get to today's star wars question and good luck testing your knowledge today's star wars question is who was the jedi master of obi-wan kenobi so obviously guys a lot of you are probably prequel fans some of you maybe not so much but who trained Obi-Wan in his younger years? This should be a pretty easy question for anyone that's seen the movies and hopefully you guys all answer it down in the comments below. I'm really excited for what the future holds for Battlefront 2. This communication is really awesome and I'm sure with more devs returning from Battlefield 5 that the game is going to move at a much quicker pace than we are used to. I really would love to see Obi-Wan released alongside Grievous but I just don't think it's going to happen. Obi-Wan's going to be such a cool character when he releases as well but I really want all their focus on General Grievous so that they get him right the first time. The last thing the community wants is for an awesome character like Grievous to release and then be buggy or have issues and things like that. So I really, really hope they get him right straight away and we don't have to have a kill switch flipped like we did with Palpatine. Obi-Wan's a whole different story though. He is going to be quite a defensive player and I feel like less difficult than Grievous. I think Grievous would have a few pretty hard animations to create. That was going to be the biggest problem with him, but I really hope they are going to nail it. Anyways, guys, I'm going to get out of here. I appreciate all of you watching. If you enjoyed the video, smash that thumbs up button down below. I will see you guys in the next one. I am the Twisted Jedi. I may the force be with you always. Hangar occupation in progress. One of their top agents just showed up. Our control of the mine hangar will soon be complete. Shuttles destroyed. Now to cut off that. Grenade out! A special operative is deployed. 